Hi everybody, this is Bastian and today we are going to take a look at the Catalan opening. Also we are going to take a look at the dangers of castling too quickly. Now the Catalan opening is very popular with a lot of players, including a lot of grandmasters. I rarely play it myself, but this is one game where I did play it. And the Catalan starts out with d4, e6, c4, knight to f6, and then g3, preparing to flash shadow the bishop. Now, the game continued with knight to c6, bishop to g2, d5, knight to f3, and pawn takes pawn. So this is still book, and this is a branch of the Catalan opening, which is called the open Catalan, where um, black grabs the pawn on c4. And we can see why black does this, because white has chosen to develop uh, Fianchetto his bishop to g2, and contrary to typical queen's gambit um, openings, uh, where the bishop is still on f1 and can take back the pawn on c4, uh, white has no immediate means to do so. Um, but there are other ways instead of this bishop. Typical continuation, which was played, is queen to a4 in order to grab the pawn back with the queen. Also this queen is adding pressure on the knight on c6. Black continues with bishop to b4 check, protected by the knight. So I block with my own bishop. And the development of black's bishop makes perfect sense, because it blocks white from grabbing back uh, the pawn on c4. So Black is in no rush to um, trade off the bishop. Instead, he plays knight to d5 in order to protect his bishop. I grab the bishop, and black recaptures. So we see the pawn is still being blocked. I continue development with knight to c3. And here, black makes the mistake of castling too, st too soon because now black castles and I think better for black would have been to try and uh, hang on to this pawn on c4 with playing a6 after which b5 could have been played uh, to protect um, the pawn and this loss of one move makes uh, a lot of difference because if a6 would have been played immediately without castling game could have continued a3 to get rid of the knight in order to attack the pawn then b5 protecting the pawn with tempo attacking the queen and then white has two options he can either play queen to d1 retreat the queen um, and let black have the additional pawn, so which is bad for white. Alternatively, white can crash through. Knight takes pawn, sacrificing the knight. Pawn recaptures. Queen takes rook. Knight to c2 check, so we notice white hasn't castled either. Forking rook on a1. King moves. Knight takes rook, so black is up a minor piece, but it is under attack. Queen grabs the knight with tempo, check. Bishop blocks, regaining tempo. Queen flees, and we can see that at this point the material is equal, but white has a worse position, because uh, he isn't able to castle anymore. He has moved his king, and black is still able to castle. So those are the two possibilities after uh, an immediate uh, a6 pawn move to protect the pawn on c4 now if a6 is played instead of a3 I could castle in order to um, prevent black from forking uh, my king and rook but this means white loses uh, one move 
black may continue with well what black shouldn't do is continue with b5 right away um, that would be a mistake because afterwards I can play knight takes pawn pawn recaptures and I can grab the rook so I am losing one move but black must waste a move himself after I castle black may play rook to b8 so if he continue then with perhaps uh, a random move for white h3 b5 and I can no longer grab the pawn on b5 because there's no threat of grabbing the rook and we can see that this pawn is now protected by the rook now none of this was played we note that after uh, a6 white still has ways to um, keep the edge with knight to e5 preventing uh, the b5 advance so if b5 were played now knight takes knight which is no longer protected attacking the queen so if pawn takes queen knight takes queen attacking the pawn on a4 and the rook on a8 then if say rook to b8 the knight can safely retreat with um, two doubled isolated pawns for black and good development uh, for white so after knight to c3 instead of a6 black decides to castle so knowing what we know there are two possibilities to continue for white I can either attack um, the knight directly and take advantage of uh, the wasted move uh, by black or I can castle which was played uh, which loses a move but uh, makes it impossible for black um, to fork with knight to c2 now black plays a6 in order to protect the pawn but it is one move too late I continue with a3 uh, of course b5 can no longer be played because then knight takes pawn recaptures queen takes rook and if knight to c2 is played there is no fork and we can see that the rook is even protected by the rook on f1 so queen takes uh, knight knight takes and rook recaptures um, with the winning position for white so after a3 black is forced to um, retreat his knight and white now has a clear shot on the pawn on c4 so I grab the pawn Um, black grabs the knight I recapture with the queen queen to d5 and the reason why black plays this is to create a battery on the d file to grab the pawn on um, d4 so he's trying to develop a third piece to put more pressure on this pawn which is uh, protected twice for the moment so I play rook to the half open file as well protecting the pawn rook to d8 and now knight to e5 and this move gains tempo with an attack on the queen and perhaps it would have been better for um, black to develop his queen to um, d6 instead of d5 but now black thinks he has found a tactical shot so apparently this development happened for a reason and black now plays knight takes pawn so he's allowing the attack on the queen but black figured out that if bishop takes queen he can play knight takes pawn check with a fork king to h1 knight takes queen forking rook and bishop so we're seeing two forks in a row pawn is forced to recapture and now rook takes uh, bishop on d5 and we can see 
an advantage for Black, who has gained two pawns in doing so. So that was the basic idea of um, Black's attack. However, I do not recapture the queen. Instead, with the development of the knight, grabbing this pawn, we can see that now the pawn on c7 has become uh, under attack. So instead of grabbing the queen, I grab the pawn on c7. Now, black's queen is still under attack, my queen is still protecting my knight on e5, and I am threatening the attack on another pawn, queen takes pawn on f7 with check and tempo. Black continues, um, well let's say if rook to f8 were to be played in order to protect, I can simply play bishop takes queen. So that is not an option. Um, black plays queen to d6 instead, saving his queen. I grab the second pawn with check, king to h8. And now queen to h5, in order to um, protect the knight again, and also put pressure on the h7 square. And we can see that this is a white colored square, and uh, our bishop can, uh, Catalan bishop, can develop in order to uh, attack it. And there's not too much um, black can do against this. Um, if, say, now a5 is played a random move, we are threatening a triple fork, so that's the main concern for um, black at this point. Black plays queen, uh, king to um, g8 in order to protect the f7 square. I develop my bishop to uh, e4, threatening the h7 square. Black plays g6 to protect, but I am not too impressed by this defense. I simply crash through with bishop takes pawn, and the pawn cannot be recaptured because if pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn check, then either king to f8 leads to mate with the queen, king to h8 leads to mate with the knight. So after grabbing the pawn, black cannot recapture plays um, queen to c7 instead to protect the pawn. I grab the second pawn, check, and again the pawn cannot be recaptured because of if queen takes, queen g5, check with the fork on the rook. So I've gained a pawn and um, a rook for a bishop. So black leaves the bishop alone, plays king to f8. I continue with rook to the open file, rook to c1. And we can see that black's queen is needed in order to protect the queen to f7 move for the checkmate. And the only way black can prevent this is by staying on the 7th rank. Now black cannot move his queen to um, d7 or f7 because of this knight. And e7 is a bad spot as well. Because if, for instance, queen to e7, we get the royal fork, and black will lose his queen. So if queen to a5, we get the, the mate, of course. And queen to c7, g7, is the only option available. I continue with e3, pressuring the knight on d4, and we can now see that black's rook on d8 uh, is unprotected. Black tries knight to c6 in order to protect the rook, but rook takes, check, knight recaptures, and after a rook lift with rook to c4, uh, black decided to resign the game, because there is too much pressure on the f7 square, and black can't move pieces there to protect it. So that was an example of um, the Catalan opening, the open Catalan variation and it shows the dangers of castling too quickly. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a comment and have a great evening.
So queen takes is played out of desperation and we can see at um, move 15 that um, white already lost the game.